morning everybody I just wanted to quickly pop up a video in regards to how to get the Dr. Teddy Deviant uh, it's quite simple but there's a lot of misinformation out there that I wanted to uh, clear up um, so basically it doesn't matter whether you're on a PvP or PvE server um, it also doesn't matter if you use controllers or not when getting the loot um, and it also doesn't matter whether or not um, it's on pro mode, hard mode, or anything like that. Like it literally um, does not matter at all. Doesn't impact the chance, really, from what I can tell, as to when you can get the deviant. So what you need to do, basically, is what you want to do is you want to head over to the silo, securement silo theta, which is based to the east of Blackfell. You get a little teleport tear up here and just run up here. Um, and there's a cool little trick you can do to um, smash it out pretty, pretty fast, um, which I'll show you guys here. Let me um, get my bike out so I can just quickly show you. So I'll quickly head up over here, and you can run this dungeon on any difficulty, like I said before, like normal is fine. I, I just ran it on normal a whole bunch. Like I had to run this like about at least 70 times in order to get this deviant and to prove that I got it. Uh, it should be in here somewhere. You can see all the void cats I did get to. Uh, where is my Dr. Teddy? Dr. Teddy, there he is. This one. Okay, so come in here. Just kick off a normal one, that's fine. Go enter. Yes, we're ready. Okay. Uh, so basically, just quickly run through everything. You don't need to kill anything. Uh, until you get to the nest section, so we can ignore all these mobs here. You can kill them if you want, but uh, for the sake of my sanity, I decided just to skip all these guys because otherwise it take 10 years to do it. Um, I'll have to come back through and loot this stuff later because uh, today's a new day and everything's respawned. So what you want to do is you want to come up here, up to the stairs, sh shoot the nests. That will unlock the door over here. So you can go in here and then we can do the Mirage boss. You can ignore everything still, it's fine. Rotate this thing. Welcome to the, <laughs> the seepage zone. All right, we'll come down here. Um, so people are always confused about how to do this puzzle. Just look at the reflection and whatever way the reflection is facing is the way that the mannequin thing here or statue needs to face. Like this one's to the left. But eventually you'll do it enough where you're like, you know these off by heart. So this one's facing like the opposite way, like that way. This one's towards me. And then this one's to the entrance. Okay, wait for this boss to spawn. Nuke him. He's dead. Now keep in mind, you don't need to use a controller for this. It can spawn a bubble I've seen in videos, but I've not seen it myself. Open up this and just do the minimum one. Don't use your controllers for this, it's a waste. And then, I didn't get lucky this one, but you just rinse and repeat. So once you do this boss, exit out, go exit dungeon, like this. And it will reset the dungeon and then after it resets you can just rinse and repeat basically as much as you want um, but yeah that's that's the simplest way that i found to do it and the quickest uh, just repeat that on and off as much as you like but if, if you found this video helpful just uh feel free to leave a like and a comment and share it around uh, it would be very helpful and if you want more videos like this just let me know in the future thank you